Hey, what's up everyone? So for this Skyrim real estate episode, we're taking a look at a very small player home called The Hatch, and it is located to the far east of Skyrim, alongside the mountainous border here. And it's in a pretty nondescript place, you just kind of walk up the side of the mountain until you see it, and there's a map marker to help guide you towards the location. Alright, so on the outside of the home, there's a key, and you use this, uh, well, it's letter, well, yeah, a letter, and you use a letter to buy a key to the home. And I believe it's about 2,000 septums. So after you pay for it through some mystical magic or something like that, you'll have access to the home. And this is pretty much it. It's just a single cell or like a single room home. It pretty much has everything you really need in a player home, right? You got a bunch of name storage, you got your enchanting lab, your alchemy lab. So here's some examples of the name storage. Here's an area where you could put some dragon masks and some unique items to hang up. This is your kitchen area. This has a lot of detail to it and a lot of name storage, so good for a chef character. Bookshelf wall. Over here is your smithing area, and there's also like a little uh, uh, planter for hearth fire um, planting. And so right, this is your tanning rack. Here's a little anvil. This is just a tiny little thing. Um, you can use this to turn on a light for your plants. Oh, nope, that was uh, to change out. You can change out the decorations of the pillows that are on the hammock and that little bed thing. That's a spectral recalibrator. And then this one on the below, this gem activator, and turns on some like, little sunlight for your planting a plant or something like that. So Here's your road robe. This change is based on your gender. So if you're a male, it shows male clothing. If, it's, if you're a female, it shows female clothing, which I thought was a neat thing. And this is your bed. So... Yeah, that's pretty much it for the home. It's nice and compact. So, perfect for those that just kind of want a home with no, me like, just single cell, just everything you really need to store some items. And you'd probably use this chest up here, maybe this safe if you wanted to, for uh, your main storage. So, yeah, overall, nice, pretty neat player home. I thought I would showcase real quick if you're looking for a very small, just essential player home. But, yeah, anyways, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to endorse the mod if you like it. And subscribe to my channel to see more Skyrim videos like this one. See ya.